in my next video uh, in the series how to use stock radar. So it will be useful if you have taken a trial uh, to get an idea of how to get around the site because you can follow me along and, uh, and see exactly what we have on the site. So I'll cover all the site and how to get around it. Um, okay, so firstly we log in. Okay, the first step is log in with your email and password on the home page and you will come to this page. Okay, this page shows you the four main menu items and what I'm doing this week, the most important thing is what I'm buying this week and what I'm selling. Okay, so that's uh, the signals for the week and the menu items. Okay, if we just go to the next page here, uh, you can see the menu items and I'm just going to go through the description of them. Um, you can see the menu items will be at the top as well as on that uh, the window in the page as well. So this is my main trading page, the trading center. This has all the stocks, uh, stops, reversals, all those sorts of things in there. So this is the main page, the monitoring page of all the stock trades. Secondly, I have your portfolio. Check your own stocks against stock radar's performance. You can key in your own stocks of your portfolio, see how you would have gone in stock radar's history. Uh, or see how you're going currently, it will also give you uh, the information in every stock that you're following. So rather than having the whole trading center, you can set up your 20 or 30 stocks and just monitor them through your portfolio. So a useful item. Okay, thirdly here we have the newsletter. The Radar newsletter is published every fortnight. It's an educational, um, it, it, it covers different areas, I will go through this a bit later on. Um, designed to guide you and help you with what I do on the website as an enhancement. Extra is exactly that. It actually covers small caps, EFTs and indices and commodities analysis. All of these are which are outside of my normal stock radar portfolio. It's a bit of an interest thing um, if you're interested in some of those other, other markets. Okay, now if we click the trading centre, the main trading page, updated every Monday morning pre-market. At the top of the page you will see the new entries and exits and the number of stocks in the portfolio. So of my 164 stocks I currently cover, the portfolio this week is up two, five in and three out, because there's a scroll bar there, so I'll have another one there, to 59 stocks of 164 stocks. So I've got 59 stocks currently with valid trends of the 164 stocks that I cover. Whether that's a lot, who knows. Okay. Next page, click the trading center. Below I am buying and I am selling, which we saw on the previous page. It lists the current trending stocks with their trend intensity rating. Now this is a new area that I haven't discussed much. You can see much in the web, some, some information in the website on this. Uh, it's my filter uh, for filtering out any, uh, it's an added filter for my trend reversals and my new highs. It's, it's a confirming uh, filter which I've designed myself and uh, I will be doing a video on this shortly. But it's basically made up of uh, a few different uh, technical indicators, price and volume, and it helps me determine the strength of a trend or the strength of a breakout. So this is the stock radar portfolio currently. These are all the stocks that I'm holding and these are the ratings where the maximum is 10 and the minimum is minus 10. Uh, so you can see these four stocks are very strong as far as trending goes. And it will go down the scale slowly. Okay, next page. Okay, the trading center. Below the portfolio is the map of the market. This is where I look at all my sectors, all the stocks I cover, and all the stocks we hold, and each sector is given a rating. So we can see the strength and weakness of, of the sectors and what stocks we are holding in the sectors and what stock and what stocks we cover. So that's a full view of the market as, as stock radar sees it, okay? Okay, below the map of the market is a unique trend intensity rating scale, which we talked about briefly before. It's really showing you the strength of a trend or the weakness of a trend. Now, just to briefly go over it for you, market sentiment plays a critical role in assessing share price movements. Stock radar delivers a consistent measure, that's that word consistent again, consistent behavior, consistency of taking our signals, consistency of, of our actions. And this delivers a consistent measurement of market sentiment using its unique tool, the Trend Intensity Indicator. The Trend Intensity in Indicator combines and weighs four simple tools, trend, volume, moving averages, and price momentum. This generates an invaluable benchmark that highlights 
Only those stocks with compelling trending qualities and offer the best prospects of sustained price movement. So this is a technical tool, a technical indicator that I've designed myself to give me an idea of the strength of a trend in a stock. And it acts as a filter. It must confirm all my breakouts. Okay, below that, the trading centre are all the sectors and individual stocks. This is where we really get down to the, the nitty gritty. Are they qualified? Yes. Okay, so let me just go through this briefly. There's a stock, Dowger, Dow, Dana EDI. It's rating 10. It is a stock pick, yes. You can see when I entered it and when I exit and, when I, and what price I entered it at. You can see the current price, where my stop is, what the current profit and loss is, and any relevant comments. Why did I buy it? I bought this one on a kilo reversal. Next resistance is at $5.50. The current price is $4.75. So of all the stocks, I cover every stock. I give all this information on uh, exactly where uh, I stand with any stock. Okay, click your portfolio. This section allows members to follow the trading st strategy and positions in real time by supplying space to input your own personal watch list to enter your own stocks. Okay, click the, and once you go and click your portfolio, click the up update portfolio button. Okay, that will take you to this page. And now you can key in all your own stocks. These will all be blank when you first sign up. So you can key in any stocks you want to put in there. And so rather than look at the whole trading center, you can just look at the stocks that you're interested in. Okay, once you've entered your stocks, you just then click update my portfolio, and that will take you onto this screen. The stocks you entered will appear using stock grade as current position. So if one of your stocks was Aristocrat Leisure, you can see that it is a stock pick. The trend intensity rating is nine. Uh, the entry date, the entry price, the current, pri the current price, where the stop is, and what the stock rate of profit and losses, and also back here you can see a little logo. If you want to get a chart on it, you can get a chart on it, okay? Which will show you all my entries and all my stop losses on the chart. So this is your own little portfolio of stocks that you can set up yourself. Okay, there's also a back tester. Okay, now if we just go back to that last uh, slide, you can see down here there's a back tester. So you can now back test this portfolio of stocks using stock rate as trade history. Uh, it includes a back tester accessing 13 years of stock radar published history. To enter your own stocks, click the back tester button. Okay, we click the back tester button and we're taken to this window again where you would put your own stocks. Okay, it will provide, and this will provide, once we put in your stocks, this will provide and click back tester, provide your year by year results with current open positions. Okay, so if we look at that, you can see any open positions that I'm holding at the moment. And year by year, it will go back and show exactly how much money I made or lost on any of these trades. Um, so if a stock was in there in 2003, it will go back to 2003. It just gives you an idea of uh, the performance. Okay, now if we click, that's, that's the portfolio section. Now if we go to the newsletter section, I publish the Radar newsletter every fortnight. It includes a macro view, ETFs, a micro view of ASX stocks, Radars, rants, anything that I want to talk about that I feel that I feel needs discussing in the marketplace. Fear and greed stocks. And now there's a little portfolio at the end of this little portfolio at the end of this newsletter, which looks at stocks that are possibly in fear and greed um, areas. So they're either very overbought or very oversold, uh, or they're you know very greedy or they're very fearful. People don't want to hold them. And trying to give people an idea of what stocks. Maybe we want to look at buying uh, for a longer term portfolio, not necessarily in the stock radar portfolio, but a longer term, taking advantage of the excesses that we see on the downside and the upside. Uh, then I also have a small cap alert, not every uh, newsletter, but on occasions. Um, and there is also a list of archive copies available under the newsletter tab on the website. So if you're on the website now, you can go to the newsletter, look at the latest one, and look at the last 10 or so um, that I've done. Okay, then we go to extra. Extra is small caps, EFTs, indices, and commodities analysis. This uh, section covers financial instruments outside the stock radar universe of 160 stocks. So I go through a few small caps, some commodities, or even some EFTs and indices. Just a basic look at them, to give you an idea of what I'm thinking. Okay, so that's the extra. Um, just also mentioning here, you will also receive 
weekly trading center email. So informing members that the weekly trading center report has been updated for the new week. So either Sunday night or Monday, I'll update the trading center from Friday night's closes because I'm a weekly model, remember? And uh, so I work over the weekend and I produce this for Monday morning. So you can see any stops that might have gone off, any new entries, uh, any stops that have been raised, or any change in circumstances on any stock. You also get what I call daily stock alert warnings. Now I'm a weekly model, so daily stock alerts are purely uh, giving you a warning of a reversal level or a stop level being hit during the week. Okay, it doesn't, it's not actionable because I need the Friday close for it to be actionable, but it gives you an idea uh, of any stocks that may be uh, near, near levels. Okay, you can switch this off in my account if you don't want to receive these. Okay, so please note, StockRadar is a weekly model, not daily, I don't care about daily noise, only weekly focus, uh, based on closing price on Friday. All trades for return reporting are benchmarked against the opening on Monday morning, so all my exits are benchmarked against the Monday opening. And the daily stock alert, as I said before, are purely warnings, not calls to action. Okay, so um, that's really the website as a whole, you now know it. I hope you've taken a trial and you're following through and you can now go and experiment uh, with anything you want to do. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that website, uh, that uh, that um, video. I will see you at the next video, which will be on the portfolio side of it, which is really the culmination of all my work into the portfolio strategy. So I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks very much.